In a previous video, I talked about how many plugins should you install on a WordPress website. And the TLDW version of that video is that it's not the quantity of plugins, it's the quality of plugins that matter. Which brings me to the topic of this video, which is how do you identify if a plugin is high quality? Let's identify and answer that question in this video. Before you judge a plugin on its quality, you first have to find the appropriate plugins for the functionality you're looking to add on your website. You have two ways to go about it. You can visit WordPress's plugin repository. The link is on the screen right now. Or from inside your own website, you can head to plugins, add new and find the plugin you're looking for. Then you can use the search bar to either search for the name of a plugin directly or use certain keywords to bring up multiple plugin options to choose from. From here, you should be able to access the plugins page on the WordPress repository directly. Now you can start analyzing the plugin for quality based on the following parameters. The number of active installs is the easiest way to judge a plugin's quality. If a plugin is actively being used by thousands, hundreds of thousands, or even millions of websites, it's bound to be of high quality. The number of ratings, types of ratings, and the average rating combined paint a very clear picture about a plugin's quality. While it's hard to say exactly how many positive reviews make a plugin high quality, a relatively high number of five-star reviews and a relatively low number of one-star reviews usually indicate a high quality plugin. It's similar to how you would quickly judge a product on Amazon based on its ratings. Another important factor to keep in mind is support. The support section of the page will give you information about how many issues were created for a plugin in the last two months and how many were resolved. Do keep in mind that unresolved issues don't mean the plugin is bad as any plugin can have some issues, but no response from the plugin author or the support team does indicate that the plugin has been abandoned or support is lackluster. It wouldn't be wise to use a plugin like that. Another factor you can take a look at to judge a plugin's quality is the last update date. Although frequent updates to a plugin does not directly imply quality, it is however an indication of the plugin author's commitment to keep the plugin up to date. Do keep in mind that some small, simple plugins do not require updates at all or for a very long time, so make your judgment accordingly. Apart from all these factors, you should also check screenshots, FAQs, the plugin description, and the plugin's dedicated website to get an idea about the plugin's overall quality. The last and one of the most important things to consider is the performance hit on your website when you use a plugin. I wouldn't recommend that you use your live website for testing, and what you should be doing instead is setting up a staging website and install the plugin there. Make sure to test the performance of your website before and after installing the plugin. You should repeat the test a few different times and with a few different testing tools to get statistically significant data. While no plugin will have absolutely zero impact on your website's performance, your website's load time shouldn't take a huge hit. A couple hundred milliseconds is understandable, but something over a half a second should be considered carefully. Now, these are just guidelines and you should make a call based on your current load times and what you would consider acceptable performance for your website. And that's how you make sure that the plugin you are trying to install on your website is high quality. But what do you think about this video? Was this video high quality? If it was, then make sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.